Okay, so we're back and I can tell you that the water is way dirtier and take a look at this thing. The rust almost disappeared, well, it didn't, but it actually, surprisingly, it removed a lot of the rust. Let me get some sanding paper. I don't think that this one is waterproof, but... Now, as you can see, the water changed colors a lot. But uh, I did actually manage to remove the rust and a lot of it. And I don't want to cut myself on this thing because this would suck. Because then I would have to get anti tetanus shot and go to the hospital and whatnot. And that thing is actually a hassle. rust even in here so there's like rust everywhere so let's remove this thing and uh, dry it off but this thing got cleaned a lot so uh, yeah I don't know whether you can see it or not and with some sanding paper this thing is almost good as new especially since this thing will be on the inside however my neighbor did give me the anti-rust liquid which is this thing and I have no idea how potent this thing is but knowing him it's probably a bad motherfucker so I cleaned this thing a bit since I don't know where to uh, use this thing so let's try to Put it in here and in here, and we'll see where will it take us, you know. Let's try the other side. Sorry. I know that it's a pet minute, but three three minutes. Aide, aide, bok. Aide, chu chu. So this side as well. And then we'll see whether this thing will eat the rust away. Supposedly, it only takes two hours to eat it. So uh, yeah. So, I guess I'll see you in two hours. This thing will be a test. Okay, so uh, in here we have uh, a lot of rust. I don't know whether you can see it or not. I'll be trying to remove it with the uh, anti-rust thing. It's interesting that the other part is actually not rusty. And now, this thing, oh boy, okay. Okay, there is a lot of uh, rust on the inside, as you can see, so uh, yeah. I'll be leaving this thing for two hours as well. Okay. Be right back. So hi, I'm back. And uh, yeah, I think that this thing actually works. And uh, quite nicely. But on the inside, I don't know whether you can see it or not. There is still a lot of rust. So I think I'll need to, uh, well, 
redo everything but uh, yeah it does clean it and uh, it does clean it quite nicely so let's leave this thing for another two hours and uh, come back right but yeah this thing already looks uh, <laughs> spot on what about this part yeah i mean this thing is uh, yeah basically brand new well and now this thing which is uh, it's obviously a process so uh, yeah mm -hmm. can you move this front uh, Oh, there are four screws that are holding this front panel, so I'll, I'll be removing that. I should have removed that to be fair from the very first beginning, but yeah. Okay, two more screws. Okay, and they're gone. Okay, and I think that I can actually just remove the wires. Okay, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna remove the wires. And now I can actually remove the power supply as well. Okay, you think? Speaker. This is the pan itself, which I will be cleaning as well. And now I can remove the power supply. And I do hope it works. By the way, this power supply is very light. Okay, and now I can remove. Yeah, is it? Yeah, it's Mitsumi. Basically, all of the floppy drives were Mitsumi back then, and they were good, I guess. Okay. Um, this thing will be going in hydrogen peroxide to be retrobrighted, and uh, now I need to vacuum this thing again. But you know, before I do, let's try to see if this thing will help it's kind of important just not to uh, not to have rust right nothing else okay this part is okay the screws i'll just throw away fuck them Okay, um, let's take a look at the uh, CPU cooler. And uh, okay, promising. And it's actually. Uh, I want to see if I have actually a new one. I think I can actually remove. Yeah. I still remember. These ones were easy to remove back in the day and to clean. Basically, that is it. This thing was the entire heatsink. <laughs> okay. And now the fan is not going to be that easy. I mean, it will be to clean. Bearings on this fan tend to fail, and I think that these are one of the first ones that had plastic bearings. I might be wrong, but we'll see. Pentium cooler. Yeah, look at this. But I think that... Okay, let me throw this away. But I think that if I remove this thing yes i will be able to pour in some oil inside and this thing just might be okay i would be so happy if this thing would solve its problems well i mean it does look better try to stick this thing back nice I will be placing some super glue but not now 
and this thing goes like this, like this, and it basically holds the chip. So these little uh, legs, I don't know whether you can see them or not, but yeah, these little legs, these ones, they actually hold the chip in place, you know. Everything is made perfectly. I miss those days. Those were simpler times. There you have it. And uh, the chip is in here. So basically you just grab the chip and that's it. You are cooling it. The cooler is done. So uh, let's open the power supply. And let's see whether this thing actually works or not. Does it have faulty capacitors or not? Since this power supply is on the lights, lighter side, I'm guessing that it could have faulty power, faulty uh, capacitors. But we'll replace them if necessary. Okay. Believe it or not, all of the capacitors look rather nice. So I'm gonna just dust this thing off outside. And yeah, this thing uh, as well, because as you can see, it is quite uh, dusty. And I will be using this thing. It's already way better, as you can see. Even though I cleaned the fan quite nicely. Let's remove it and let's try to oil the fan as well. And by the way, this is so simple, the uh, entire power supply. I believe this has like 300 watts, maybe. As you can see, it does need cleaning. And uh, even though this thing is actually okay, I will be still using just a bit of oil, just because uh, it's a good idea. But I think that this thing actually has oil already in the inside. Seriously, this thing is, uh, has grease and everything inside, okay. Brilliant. Okay. Let's put this thing back and let's test the power supply, you know. Blue and white, black and brown. I hope I do not explode. But I don't think I will. Yeah, don't do it like I'm doing it. This is strictly for testing purpose. And yeah. I don't know whether you can see it or not, but the fan is spinning. So this thing is working nicely. Perfect. So the power supply is still functioning after all these years. Okay. Perfect. And this thing is as good as new. The next thing, let's clean this floppy drive. And by the way, take a look at this thing. So there is like a magnet in here. And uh, there's like a sensor underneath, so basically when it spins, it detects how many spins did the uh, floppy make. Insane. Floppy, the drive made. Okay, so basically this thing. Oh, there is a lot of dust on the inside. And today I will be using the metal ones. I just got them and they are awesome. Super thin, you cannot open MacBooks with them. And, uh, uh, iMac, sorry, with them. Yeah, as you can see, brilliant, right? Okay. Now let's remove the dust from here. Yeah, I'll be doing this thing outside. Perfect. And now this thing as well. So, to remove the top part, as I remember, you just... Yeah. It's very easy. And I do hope that a lot of dust did not come inside, but it did. Okay. Well, we'll see if this thing will work or not, you know. I did clean it as best as I could. 
but the problem with this thing is that the heads are synced so if I move the heads if I move any of those two heads this thing will not be okay so you know what let's try to clean it like this with an alcohol q-tip perhaps and again this thing is uh, I don't know whether you can see it. This is a sensor, so that uh, head knows when it's uh, in the uh, primary position. Primary position, kind of cool. And I need some grease to grease this thing up. I will I'll oil it. I mean, it probably won't be the best solution, but it will be better than it is now. So, yeah. And I will be oiling also this uh, part in here because head slides all over it. Okay. Okay, this thing is turning out to be a long video. This is the alcohol. Let's clean the heads. I mean, to be fair, heads look kind of clean. But, you know, you can never tell. And basically, that is the uh, that is the entire the entirety of cleaning the uh, drive itself. I mean, it does look nice. We don't want to disassemble it in, in entirely because. It's a hassle to put back together, and then again, everything is everything is clean. So, yeah. Okay, now this thing is the last part I will be cleaning. Okay, like this. You know what? I don't think that alcohol <laughs> will clean this thing. Let's try my uh, go-to liquid. This thing is magic. You know, whoever invented this thing, I think the guy, or woman, girl, whatever, made tons of money. And the funny part is it actually smells quite nice. But yeah, great. Okay, this thing goes in here. And now the bottom part. And uh, this thing, I think, looks amazing. Okay. Put this thing in, and uh, yeah, the floppy drive. I think this thing looks awesome. And basically that's it for this video. I am sick and tired of this computer already. Uh, I'll be posting the next video very soon. So I promise you that because my entire workshop is in a mess. So I can finally record the video about Windows 95 demo on a floppy drive. I do wonder uh, how it looks. <laughs> it would be awesome. <laughs> If the floppy is corrupted, oh, this would be fun. Well, anyway, if you like this video, please click thumbs up. If you did not, you know what to do. Consider subscribing. And until the next time, cheers.